cold out this morning. Cold coming in. Everything's froze up, big icicles hanging. I'm fixing to go up here and get warmed up and start digging some. If you find something, you think you ought to look at it and call it. So as y'all probably see there, it's pretty froze up. You wasn't really expecting it. Yeah. And that's kind of causing some problems right now because everything we want to dig is froze from here on down there to about where the snow ends, right in there. It's all where we need to get to the good stuff and it's all you can see here what a big froze quad come off the top of this sift pile. This is like concrete. There, it's thawing a little, but still. Makes it a little more challenging. It's supposed to be 50 degrees today, hopefully. And I help us some. Right there, you can see the cliff that's next to this one. And I mean right next to it. And I've went over and I've hunted that thing to death. And I've not found a chip, a piece of bone, a far pit, nothing, no sign of native people. And it is that close. To the side that was beat up with people. Similar size rock. Faces the same way. Same distance from the creek. That will nowhere probably even gets a little more sun. But for some reason I have found zero signs of ancient people ever staying in there. One night, let alone leaving an artifact so it's just one of them things that kind of makes you wonder what's so different between that right there and that right there there's a difference though all right so the sun is finally starting to hit down here where everything's froze up and snowy but 
also know there's some flint here, some arrowheads. I found a lot of stuff right here where I'm standing, around this rock. It's just now thawing out. So, what I'm going to do is try to clean a bunch of leaves up. That way the sun can thaw this a little more and we can get down here and dig some. Mackie's still up there digging in the dry part of the shelter. But believe it or not, there's actually more flint right here where I'm standing here. Than up there where he's at. So we're going to try to get to this stuff. Got all the leaf layer off. That'll help it a whole lot. If y'all wonder what's the use in just going ahead and moving the leaves instead of digging over top of them, well, it's like a whole extra inch of material that's going to foul you up, be piling up on stuff and just get in the way. You won't be able to sift it and it's full of leaves. So, the best thing to do is get them out of the way. Throw them over the hill. I put them in a sack. That way I can take them way over the inner if I want to get them plumb out of the way. And also, too, where everything's froze, that removes the insulation layer from the ground. Once the sun hits it, it'll, it'll thaw a lot faster than if it's still covered with leaves. So I've seen a lot of chips down here already. A lot of material. I think there's a lot more here than what's up the hill. We'll try this spot next, see if we do any better. That's as close as we got today. Something to look at. Mackie found a little piece of pottery too. Had all the enamel wore off of it too. But a lot of material in there. So at least I know I got something good to come back to. So the next time I come back and make a video up here, uh, we'll probably be starting in right there if it ain't plum froze. But at least I know I got something good to come back to. But that's it for this one. We're going to head home. We was on the way home, and I seen about that much of that thing sticking out, and I know what it was, a big freshwater mussel. And our creek ain't had any of these in at least a decade. And the creek is way down through the inner. We're up the holler, not on the main creek. These are in the main creek, not up here. And... No idea really how it got up here, or how long it's been here, I guess. We figured maybe an animal went and got it. And why in the world he'd carry hip plum up to holler and we'd find it years later. Anyway, something weird on the way home. There you go, treasure after all today. Hmm.